Okay, perfect. Um, so part of the challenge that I've had prior to buying that building, I was told when I came in that we were on sewer. They verified that we were on sewer. Um, and so I bought the building because uh, it's illegal to sell a commercial property that's on septic, which is one of the reasons why the city verifies that we're on sewer or not. Um, so after I bought the building, we kept having backups and backups and backups. And so Rotor Rooter kept coming out and it was like thousands of dollars for them to come out and continue. And I'm like, there's something wrong. So they brought out a camera and they ran the camera down and they said, whoa, it didn't go to the street. It went behind the Allstate building. Um, and so they brought out their excavator and they dug up and they found a septic system. And they took the cameras down and we flushed from both of the buildings and both of the buildings are going into the septic system and they do not see anything other than the leech line leaving the septic system. Um, so after that, I've, I've been down several times um, and I think probably left you some messages. Uh, maybe we've talked on the phone. Um, a couple of years ago. Um, when I bought the building, yeah. Uh, so it's been a, a, a bit of a challenge because I uh, have been, I'm continued to be told that I'm on sewer. Um, and in this, this last water bill, we can't figure out what has happened um, of where 125,000 gallons of, of water went. Um, so I had asked to find out what kind of meter we had to be able to call the meter company uh, to see if there was ever any challenges with that particular meter of misreading. Um, and I didn't get any answers on, um, on the kind of meter that we have. So I'm doing my best to try to pay what I can towards that bill, even though I don't feel that I use that water because um, I can't figure out where it could have gone or come from or why it would have just stopped. Um, but a big part of it, there's a there's $600 of it that sewer. Um, and since I'm not on sewer, what I'm asking is if that could come off of my bill today and then I would be able to pay the rest of it. The answer would be no, not at all. You've already been uh, graced with a break on the bill, significant break. Um, you, we do have permits here with the building department that you were tied into sewer. I gave you copies of that a couple of years ago. Rotor Reader put in for the permits, showed the drawings that they did the tie in to the sewer. Now, no, Rotor Reader said that they. Just a second. Okay, come on. Whether or not they decommissioned the septic tank, obviously they did not. And it's very common that what they used to do was to go cheap rather than decommission the septic tank, they would leave it in place and then flow through to the sewer, okay? That was kind of a shystery thing back in the day, but, and people are still catching that, okay? Um, the fact that sewer was available and that you are tied to sewer, at least by law, because once you purchase that building, you would have had to connect to sewer, but being as the permits were already pulled, the drawings were in and everything was accepted. So I never got the drawings. I did see the form that said Tom Hall verified that, um, but there, but I didn't receive any drawings to show where that's going. Uh, so if you have those, I would love to have those. And your next stop would be planning a zone. Okay. Right across the hall. They'll pull out your, your permits and everything and they can get you copies of that. Cool. And I did, and they didn't have any drawings, um, but I'll do it again. Okay. Um, I distinctly remember seeing the one from Rotor Reader. It was a hand-drawn drawing on where the sewer lines went and where they connected into the sewer. Okay, cool. So what, um, when you say it was kind of a shysty thing to do back then, what would what was the city's role in protecting the, the because it, it's it's illegal, right? It's illegal to maintain a I septic system. I you, back in the day, I wasn't here. I don't know what the planning and zoning's role was in that. So it would be planning and zoning's role. We only, yeah, we only supply and take. We supply water, take wastewater. So how it got to our service connection, we don't play a role in that. That's strictly planning and zoning. Okay. okay. We don't go out and physically inspect. Tom Hall would have been the inspector on that job. That's his responsibility. And that's not here. That's there. Next room over. Okay, excellent. <laughs> and he's um, not here anymore either, so. What's that? I say he's not with us anymore either. So, but like I say, the documents are there, so you, could, you should be able to get that documentation at least. So. Okay. 
Um, thank you for, for taking the time to explain that. That had never been explained to me before. I thought it was the utility, utility that had the responsibility of that. Um, so the next step um, would be to, that I would like to see is, um, and I don't know how, what process we would go through to do this, is to show that I am actually tapped to sewer, that, I, that, 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 that connection was made um, to run, as you say, from the septic tank to the sewer system. Because when they uh, dug up the septic system, that was one of the things that I had brought up. I was like, well, maybe. And he looked at me like I had four heads and told me that I was crazy and said, honey, you're not connected to the sewer. There's no, there's no, there would be something in the septic tank because the water is, they flushed the toilets and he showed me. There's water coming into the septic tank. So there would have to be some sort of outlet that they would have put from the septic tank to go to the sewer and that doesn't exist. So with my previous experience with this, we just encountered one in Old Town, right on the corner of Yavapai and Main Street. They discovered that they still had a septic tank. And they were told they were on sewer. And they were connected to sewer, which is going through the sewer. Going through the septic. Through the septic to the sewer. So that's the most recent one. Uh, another one. And that was a commercial? Yeah. So, I mean, it happens. So what they do is they'll typically they'll tie on to where the, the, the leach line is and then connect that to the sewer. Gotcha. So it wouldn't be actually from the tank. It would be from the leach line. Which is connected to the tank. Right, right, right. The leach line is connected. But that would, so I'm just trying to think like why, I'm just being told so many different stories and it's, I'm you know. i by my experience of seeing this. So it wouldn't be a separate tap into the septic tank. It would be, you wouldn't see it because all you would see is the leech line and they would have attached somehow into the leech line and, and taken it to the sewer. That's what I've expected. Okay. So then that probably would mean that the septic tank would never back up. Well, no, it will. <laughs> okay. Once it fills with debris, you know, it, it, it's going to cause you problems. It's going to back up. Okay. Um, so what would be the way that we would verify that? So, um, I, my next step is a lawsuit, probably against rotor -Rooter. I don't know. Um, maybe well, against. Once you get that document from planning and zoning, showing that they pulled the permit, these are the drawings they submitted. So how do I, how can I see, um, because if they really did tie into sewer, right. so even if it was in a shyster way, there's not. They you really did it. You basically want to redig that leech line and run the camera down the leech line. Okay. And see if that connects into the And that would be the easiest way. Correct. I just, I don't know. I think the leech line might be underneath my parking lot. Oh, I'm sure it is, yeah. So rather than unearthing asphalt, would there be another way? Like, could we see, could we see from the sewer standpoint, uh, Unfortunately, where that sewer main is, it's a main collector, and there's a lot of water going through there. We don't have, we wouldn't be able to see anything coming out of the tap because it's full of water and it's raging through there. There's a lot of, a lot of sewer through that, through that line. If it was just a quiet domestic line on a side street, so there's not one like we couldn't see where my tap is into the main right, sewer, right? Because it's underwater. Well, for our camera, our camera is only this big. You know, it's a little thing, but we're going into a big pipe that's half full of water. We can't see anything. Even if we like dyed it, so it would be a different. Like we could see, okay, the water is red now. You're absolutely right. There is a, a dyeing technique, but the problem is with that having the septic tank in place, we'd have to put 55 gallons of dye in there before it ever came out because of the septic tank. Okay. Um, how much is 55 gallons of dye? Because <laughs> I know how much it is to dig up a parking lot. My point is, we're not going to do that. Your, your best thing is, because you, you have to get rid of that septic tank. Uh, yes. I mean, it's got to go. It's going to cause you nothing but grief for ever and ever and ever. Totally. So once you get it exposed again, you know, run the camera down that lateral and see where it goes. You'll see that it goes into the sewer main. 
So a leach line is just a like a perforated pipe. What they'll do is they'll cut it off at the tank and put a uh, elbow or something on there and then run a solid pipe down from there. So if I can get into the septic, it's possible that they could run all the way down uh, rather than just where it attaches to the leech line, yeah. rather than having to find the leech line That's somewhere. Right. That's right. Okay, because where that is is dirt. That's not... Um, Okay. That's that's where I would go. I mean, if they, if you wanted my opinion, that's what. And do a camera instead of die right. because, um, and then if if it's not attached to the sewer, do I get any credits back for? <laughs> because you had sewer available, always. I know, but I was told I was to sewer, on it. They told you that you were tied to sewer. Rotor Rooter assured you you're tied to sewer. That's a whole different ballgame. Okay. We hadn't known that that building was on septic, but we've got proof that it was tied into sewer. That that totally puts you into the sewer bill, if you will, okay? Because that should have been done, which it says it was done. Yes. So, so that's kind of where we're at. I'm going after a different animal than you. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.